we give you all adoration in the name of jesus we have prayed amen and amen hallelujah glory be to jesus um first chronicles chapter 4 the story of jabez um, but before we get into that story um it just occurred to me to let us know that everything that happens in life is orchestrated by a spirit everything you know i just saw a picture of a strong man in my in my heart as we we're just rounding up now and jesus will say before you can you can plunder the goods of a of a strong man you must first of all bind the strong man uh, and so everything we see in life is occasioned by a spirit whether good or bad right and so if we have this consciousness we can take authority over certain things in our lives that are not going the way that god wants them to go because we know that it is a spirit that is stewarding this thing into my life and so you can you can rebuke the spirit over that thing and you know that's the beginning of the salvation that you desire and so you must learn to to address spirits he says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the spiritual forces of wickedness so these are the things the entities we are wrestling about they may have human conduits or vessels but the, the human vessels are not your problem uh, because if you deal with the human vessels what is going on we still keep going on because the spirit would jump into another person and so the scripture says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood you must have this understanding that you are in a war but your warfare is not against human beings it's against spiritual forces of wickedness so that you sometimes you can even look at you know your um maybe a friend that does behave somehow and you know ah, this is not my friend though there is a spiritual entity that is instigating that action and so it helps you to even be at a at a place where you can just forgive offenses because you know there are spiritual forces occasioning these realities so you address this it's just like when jesus looked at peter and said <laughs> get behind me satan uh, peter was his friend peter was was his protege as it were he was his disciple so he knew peter was good but this utterance was not coming from peter this was coming from a spiritual force of wickedness it was coming from the enemy this was coming from satan and so he dealt with the entity and still continued this relationship with peter as a matter of fact he told him peter you know peter you know became the leader as it were of the church so it was as though jesus handed over to peter quote and unquote so that's right here we are dealing with spiritual forces so the moment you realize this it will change your 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 shift it will change your focus you begin to address things from the roots and so first chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9 the scripture says now jabez was more honorable than his brothers you know i've been looking at this scripture for over a couple of years and i'm like he was more honorable how does it relate how does it correlate and i began to think that this was actually his testament after the prayers not before the prayers of course this was his testament from what from the volume of the books but he came into the world and he met another experience so what was written concerning him was not what he began to see because there was a mistake as it were from his mom the scripture says that she gave birth to him and named him pain and from that moment he became pain actually he began to have painful experiences he began to have painful uh, you know you know evil situation because from his prayer you see that it was his reality he says oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that you your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil that i may not cause pain so pain became his reality he was named pain and pain became his experience he had painful experiences and he caused pain to others also so he came into the earth and he found out that what was written concerning him was not his experience in the now and so there are certain things written concerning you which your experience has been contrary to so jesus said i have come to do as it is written of me in the volume of the books so before we stepped into time there was something written concerning us this is what you would experience this will become your your life this will become your experiences but we get into time and a lot of things factors now come in and begin to distort what has been written concerning us begin to seek to do to destroy or to make us live outside that which was written so from the very beginning from the honors of the godhead he was to be honorable 
but he came into an experience that was that was contrary to that which was written and so are there situations that are contrary to that which is written concerning your life are there situations that that are contrary to that which is written concerning you in the volume of the books and so the scripture says that he was more honorable than his brethren than his brothers and his mother called his name jabez saying because i bore him in pain and jabez called on the god of israel saying we were not told the exact time he called on the on the name of the god of israel but what we know is that as long as he did not cast off with that which was upon him it was his experience continually so the moment he called on the god of israel the moment he cast off the affliction that was on him that was the end of it Jero. so if he prayed this prayer in his 20th year it means that he went through 20 years of pain before he was able to cast it off if he prayed it in his 30th year it means that he he spent 30 years in affliction before he realized that oh i can cast off this this, this pain i can cast off this stigma i can cast off the shame i can cast off this this um this challenge i can cast off this this burden that i have been born with as it were you know that had been cast off upon me at birth not that, that he was born with it he was, it was cast on him from birth or at birth so i am saying that we need to address certain things and um you can stand upon your birth seasons to rearrange the order of your life so for Jabez, this happened on the day of his birth so when he was born his mother brought him into a, an experience and so birthdays are important for the realignment of our lives and so one of the things that should happen in your birthday is that you take time to realign your life to the original templates some things may have happened in your life that is not consistent to that which is written concerning you in the volume of the book so your birthday uh, you know affords you that opportunity it does not mean that you cannot do it any other day but uh, understand my point so so you 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 arrive at the beginning of another cycle and you can stand at that point and you rearrange some things in your life and so jabez called on the name of his god and he says, Oh Lord, that thou wouldest bless me, that you would take away this pain, keep me from evil, let me not cause pain, let pain not come to me. That became the burden of his prayer. I don't know the afflictions that have been cast upon you. I am saying that you can cast it off. The same way it was cast on you, you can cast it off. You can cast it off. You can cast it off. I believe that Jabez, you know, had endured and endures. There are certain things we are enduring that we should not endure. So Jabez would have endured year one, year two, year three, forty eight, tenth year, maybe probably, until he could not maybe take it no longer. And he cried out, Oh God, that thou wouldest bless me. And God said, Yes, you, you got it, you got it. You got it. So are there things that we are enduring that we should not be enduring? Are there things that we are enduring instead of addressing? Are there things we are enduring instead of addressing? Are there things you are accommodating instead of casting off? Say that thou wouldest bless me. Can you lift up your voice this morning and begin to cast off, begin to address things that need to be addressed in your life. Begin to cast off the burdens of the evil one. Begin to cast off everything, the, the yoke that the enemy may have put upon you, the burdens, the afflictions that he may have put upon your life. Can you lift up your voice and cry to the Lord and say, Oh Lord, I asavana, that thou wouldest bless me. Oh, Shataraka Bepeletania, Zofaratekalia, that these chains may be broken. Oh, Zarandi Koparafiletamia, that this burden may be cast off. In the name of Jesus, I cast off this affliction. I cast off this burden. I cast off this yoke. Oh, Shanae Kape Bondaya, Rusavine Tora Venetania, Kape Venetania, Kayatania, Lunze Farabine Kepenetania. Can you get to the point that Jabez got to? And he said, No, I cannot bear this any longer. I cannot accommodate this any longer. I have tried for you, Paino. It is time that you pack your load and go. I am telling you, the affliction can pack and go. The burden can pack and go. Lasura Kapenetania, Zenu Kapenetania, Shabata Benetania. 
Tanya, Lose the Tatai, Rafa the Takabeta Tanya. You can pack and go. You can be a free man. You can be a free woman. Zara Takabeta Tanya, Shana Kabeta, Lose the Farakabeta Tanya. Can you speak and declare in the name of Jesus? There is the reordering of my life. In the name of Jesus, the reordering of my life. In the name of Jesus, the reordering of my life. Zara Tekapela, Zuni Kumana Penetania, Zaza Penetania. I bring my life uh, into alignment once again. Rasa Penetania, Kapa Papa, pa, Long Segatai, Lasai Wanedemia, Long Segatania, Zabed Penetania. For Japes, uh, he was more honorable. That was what was written concerning him. Uh, but it's more than them in pain. Uh, but he prayed himself uh, back into the original template that God uh, has for him. Uh, oh, Shabbat. Can you bring yourself back uh, to the original template of God? Can you bring yourself back? Uh, oh, Shanaka Benetania, Reso Veneteca, Lonze Fanatania, what are they to be put upon you? Uh, can you cast it off? Uh, can you cast it off this morning? Zani Capania, Longsai Guania, Resa Valio Tobanatania, Shabababania, Longsa Tatea, Ravena Tatani, Longsai Guatatania, Shamita, Shamita, Shabab. Babamia, Los Aguante de Mante, Ropenetania, every garment uh, that the enemy has put upon me, uh, I cast it off. Uh, make that your prayer. Every garment uh, that the enemy has put upon me, I cast it off right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, every garment uh, that the enemy has put upon me, uh, I cast it off in the name of Jesus. Zabenetania, Raseveneta, Zabakabin Nakabenetania, Los Aguante de Mante, Lomventons Benetania, Rabbe Bebeta, Shabe Cabinetania, Long Saka Benetania, Rabbe Bebeta, Eshataka Bebetania, Long Saka Benetania, Rabbe Bebetani, Long Sai Watten de Kai, Lavada Sambra Cabinetania, Rabba Babania, Zeka da Pai, Rabbe Tania, Eshataka Bebeta, Reza Panatania, Edon Saka Benetania, Shai Capeha, Mansa Beneta Cababania, Every garment uh, that the enemy has put upon me, uh, I cast it over. Uh, can you cast it over? Uh, can you cast it over right now? In the name of Jesus, uh, can you cast it over right now? In the name of Jesus, uh, can you cast it over right now? Shaba Kabenetania, Lesopanatania, Isaka Pepetania, Rafaeleta Kapania, can you cast it over right now? Shaba Babapani, Long Sai Guatevanatania, take it, take it away. Oh, Sasavena, Rabbe. Babania, Lansai Guatinamaha, Ramemene Cabinetania, Shaba Babania, Lansai Guantetan, Lovelo Savanatania, Shaba Babania, Lansai Guatana, Rabba Babania, every garment that the enemy has put upon me, I cast it off right now in the name of Jesus, Shenakaya Samantia, Rabba Benetania, Lansai Guantanama, Londea Savanatania, Shaba Babania, Rabana Benetania, Rabba Babania, Lasai Guatanatania, Ebalaton Sakataya, Mana Sombra de Benetania, Rabba Benetania, Lansai Guantanenta, Manosca Benetania, and Saka Benetania. Can you make this one your prayer? Every embargo that the enemy has placed upon my life, break now in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Every embargo that the enemy has placed upon my life, break now in the name of Jesus. Break now in the name of Jesus. Break now. Sunny Capea, Shabbatania, Long Saiqua Venetania, Rabbatai, Sose Venetia, Shabbat Capenetania, Rebellatai, Capente, Capenton Sacabenetania. Break now in the name of Jesus. Less of Venetania, every limitation, every limitation. Break now in the name of Jesus. Long Saiqua Tena, Shabbatania. Break now in the name of Jesus. Don't say Benetania, Lande Compelletabania, Lonse Panatania, Shaka de Tania, Rabbe Benetania, Lonse Quatta Pelletania, Lonsa Catetai, Manamino Sabinetania, Rabbe de Babania, Lonsa Quanensa Benetania, in the name of Jesus. 
finally can you lift up your voice and pray and say everything written against me and nailed to a tree and fasting it onto a tree i nullify in the name of jesus by the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus i nullify everything written against me the handwriting of ordinances that are against me that have been fasting to a tree in the name of jesus i nullify by the blood in the name of jesus i nullify by the blood in the name of jesus i nullify by the blood in the name of jesus i nullify by the blood Zapanika, long sight what they need, Rosevai Cobelatania, Zetacapania, long sight I, Mamma Mamandis of Benetania, long sight what an eye, Rapa Benetania, the blood speaks better things for me in the name of Jesus, Zetacania, even lawful captivities are broken in the name of Jesus, Les Saiguatena, Rapa Benetania, Shadena, long sight one de Deboa, long sight Giatoa, Mamma Mamma. Mashabania, La Pagan Pasabenetania, La Sevenontanaya, lawful captivity, Saha, oh Shabania, I take myself out from them in the name of Jesus. Aila Baratina, Kapevanatania, in the name of Jesus. Eshana Kabenetani, Rosivarati Benekabania, Zesu Venetania, Kayazo Faratania, Shande Kabania. Can you make this declaration finally? And say every lawful captivity in my life, maybe on the basis of what my forefathers did, maybe my grandparents, maybe even my parents, maybe my great grandparents, in the name of Jesus, I take myself out of it. My my um, lineage now turns back only to Jesus because I have been born of God. Can you make that declaration? I take myself out of every lawful captivity, whatever has been done in my family line, whatever has been done in my in my natural lineage in the name of Jesus that makes me a lawful captive in the name of Jesus I take myself out of the lawful captivity and I declare that my genealogy comes back only to God himself in the name of Jesus because I have been redeemed out of every tongue out of every tribe out of every family and I have been redeemed unto my God and he has made me a king and a priest and so I declare I take myself out of every lawful captivity in the name of Jesus can you make that prayer as we wrap up this morning? In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I declare be it unto you according to your words. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and Amen.